Hello, I'm Frances from One Step Homestead and I'm doing a furniture project. Now first thing, I want to apologize for the poor quality of my last few videos. I don't yet have the microphone for my camera yet and so I'm using my phone and it's just not the best but it's what i have and i want to continue to make the content once a week so that's where we are with that now this is our tv stand when we first moved here a year ago we didn't have a stand for our television and in the shop we found lots of building materials there and we decided to build something to put our TV on my hope was to make a really nice piece of furniture which is what we had done when we were living in California it turned out really pretty and I wanted to be able to do that again unfortunately the materials weren't quite the same and we didn't have the equipment that had been provided in California at our friend's house. So it was just kind of put together well enough to put a TV on and then we covered it with a sheet. <laughs> and we have not gotten the equipment, mainly to be able to have a sander to sand it down to make it nice to be able to do a finish. But also it was wobbly. I was really disappointed <laughs> to have it be so wobbly and I don't think we made it quite the same as the one that we put together as far as construction goes so for a year it sat here under a sheet and we're careful not to touch it very much so it doesn't get too rickety and my hope for this week is to kind of take it apart and put it back together in a better configuration so that it's not so wobbly and I was able to purchase a sander so that hopefully we can get it cleaned up and painted or varnished so that we don't have a sheet <laughs> any longer in the living room under the TV. Now what we did was we made it three feet tall and four feet long and it really is a nice shape but it's a little bit big and we used screws to put it together so it doesn't look quite as nicely finished and so my thought is to cut it down a little bit to take out the holes and maybe put it together with some finishing nails so that it looks a little better than having the screws i've purchased two one by fours eight foot long and they're only five dollars each and I'm hoping that with those I can construct this a little more sturdy and help it to look a little better so let's give it a try now the first thing we had to do was take the whole thing apart And I also cut the one by fours that I bought to make some nice bracing frames. And then we sanded it down.
And then we cut the top down to get rid of all of the holes from the screws. Okay, so we got it finished. And I did a shoshugi ban treatment. Uh, the Japanese style of burning the wood for a finish. And I really love the way it turned out. And of course then I did a couple coats of varnish. And it just really turned out beautifully. And I'm very excited <laughs> for a nice piece of furniture instead of having the sheet in our living room under the TV. I had a little bit of trouble because we used a, a veneer wood here on this bottom shelf. And that doesn't like the shoshugi bunch. <laughs> it burned a little bit on one corner. It got a bit singed and peeled up a bit. Other than that, it worked out great. And for a total amateur, <laughs> we got a nice piece of furniture in our living room. I hope my brothers are proud. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Please join us again, share and like, and until we meet again, <laughs> <laughs>